I want to read another document to you. It is called the Grace Message. I continue to hear people talk about grace as if it gives you a license to sin. Some of these people believe as long as you believe in God, grace can carry you to heaven. Most of them bring up this scripture below. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. 9. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Okay. I am sure other true Christians have received this scripture by people who want an excuse to sin. Okay. You have given me Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 through 9. Why are you neglecting Ephesians chapter 2 verses 1 through 7? How can you tell me what 8 through 9 is saying when you are skipping 1 through 7? How can you fully understand what this passage is saying unless you read the whole thing? If I gave you a book, how can you tell me properly what the book is about if you pick and choose what passages to read? This is not a game. Our souls are at risk. You may be risking the souls of others as well. Please keep this in mind. Let's go through verses 1 through 7 of Ephesians chapter 2. I may post the scriptures at the end. I am just going to explain in my own words what verses 1 through 7 is saying. Verse 1. We were spiritually dead in our transgressions and sins. Verse 2. We used to live in sin just like the rest of the people of this world, whether consciously or unconsciously obeying the devil. More comments for verse 2. I can stop here to prove my point. Verse 2. Verse 2 knocks out the theory that you can continue to sin and make it to heaven because of grace. Verse 2 is saying that you used to sin like the other people of this world. So this verse is making a distinction between sinners and people who are living righteously. We have grace because of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, his death. Good things happen to us even when we don't deserve them. This is the effect of grace. We now have the opportunity to go to heaven because of grace. Yet, we have to be obedient to the rules and regulations of God. We can't die in sin and make it to heaven. If that is possible, who goes to hell? <laughs> if you sin as much as a person who doesn't believe in God, what is the difference between yourself and the heathen? Nothing. Your belief in God is not the only step. You must follow the rules and regulations of God. Verse 3. All of us were sinful, doing whatever we wanted, following whatever gave us pleasure. More comments for verse 3. Verse 3 is backing up verse 2 more in depth. More proof that you have to live righteously. Verse 4. God is so rich in mercy and he loves us. Verse 5. We were spiritually dead because of, because of our sins. God the Father gave us life when he raised Jesus Christ. God the Son. Trinity. From the dead, by grace, we are saved. 
More comments for verse 5. When Adam and Eve disobeyed God, that cursed all of humanity. Every human is born in sin. This is why Jesus Christ had to die for our sins. If he didn't, there is no way that we could make it to heaven. Grace. Not only that, as stated earlier, good things happen to us when we don't deserve it because of grace. The wages of sin is death. Romans 6 and 23 paraphrased. When people sin, they may not get punished as severely as they should because of grace. There is no such thing as luck. It is God's grace. Verse 6. The servants of God and Jesus Christ are raised together, sitting in heavenly realms. More comments for verse 6. When we believe and follow the rules and regulations of God, we become one with Jesus Christ. Without the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, God the Father would only see us as sinful people. There is no redemption for us but through Jesus Christ. Verse 7. Through Jesus Christ, God the Father shows his grace and kindness towards us. So right here, I have Ephesians 2, 1 through 9. So let me read it. 1. And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Verse 2. Wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. 3. Among whom also we all had our conversations conversation in times past, in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. 4. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us. 5. Even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved. 6. And hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. 7. That in the ages to come, he might shew the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. 9. Not of works, lest any man should boast. So as you can see here, I broke down everything. You still have to live righteously. We are saved by grace, but you still have to live righteously. I really hope this makes sense. God bless.